appreciate being an empathetic, empathic, emotionally inspired person. I appreciate the fact that I cultivated and held on to my own creative abilities. That I explored my playful imagination through many mediums, developed myself as an artist and as a creative self-expressive person. While I was doing that, I was not creating a career or building a financially independent life for myself. I have yet to ever know what financial independence feels like. I don't know, I've never known that experience. I'm 30 years old, I'm still dependent upon other things to exist. And I see now. If I could ever gain my financial independence, that's the key to unlocking a life that where I can live to my fullest. I just want to reach my full potential and not become a victim of my own circumstances I created out of foolishness or out of being young and unaware. Now that I'm a be a mother. I just want to really make the pressure on my child to the way I live somehow, so like how precious life is, how precious time is. Time is often wasting. And instill in them a sense of value, a sense of self worth, where they never have to compromise such a large chunk of their life. Forsake it to mistake making. can just reach for an ambition and go for it instead of getting derailed. I hope my soul is on the path to fulfilling its spiritual obligations, whatever contracts it made prior to birth coming down here. I hope I'm living up to the, hope I'm living up my own spiritual expectations of myself before I incarnated. I hope I'm doing right. I know I am, but I know that somehow I could be living life differently, more effectively. I know not to be hard on myself either, though. Not to blame myself or criticize myself. I know I need to be self loving. Encourage myself, be supportive of myself, understanding of myself. Not hypercritical or overcritical, or there's enough of that in the world. You'll face enough criticism in your lifetime, you don't need to be critical of yourself. But it is smart to analyze your decisions and see if they're serving your best interest.